I've been making a lot of videos about beginners learning to skateboard. Today, a fellow content creator made a video response back about the video that I made of her. I offered her a lot of tips and advice, and she thought, you know what, I'm gonna try them, and I'm gonna make a new video. I haven't watched this yet, but we have Hegla with this video, Skating Tips from a Pro Skater, Learning to Skateboard Progress Update. Now, these original videos that I watched, last one was 11 months ago, and last post on YouTube was nine months ago. So to her fans, you're welcome that Rick got her to make a new video. Skateboarding is hard. As you can see in pretty much every single video that I've made. Oh my God, I didn't die. I didn't die. Not gonna lie, sometimes it does put me off. And that was until I came across a certain video. So this is guy called Ricky Glazer. <laughs> yeah. He's actually not just any old guy. He's a pro skater. And he decided to react to my skating series. Let's go. Popcorn, Ollie. It's chug. Turns out watching this video was enough motivation for me to get back <laughs> out there and start practicing That's again. what I like I to hear. I took all the tips and advice that I could from his video and just kept practicing. So without further ado, here is an update on my skating progress. Starting from the beginning, I thought I'd find some new places to go skate and what better place than just right next to the library during exam season. I wanted to work on some more fundamental skills because my bestie Ricky said it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a practical trick right there. Okay, picking up and putting the board down. This is something that I'm trying to be more confident on my board, which involves like a lot of picking up the board, putting it down, getting back on it, picking it up, putting it down, getting on it, and like just genuinely doing that for like, I wanna say like a good half an hour, I was just going up and down this one road. So this is a good approach, but see what I would say is even better is just, you need to go somewhere, you need to go to the shop, go skating, a curb is approaching you, pick up the board, get back on the board, go again. Something else comes up, pick up the board. You're going to walk past grandma, pick up the board, put it down. Like actually just kind of like having skating in your life and using skating uh, when you need to will kind of help you build these skills. And even like rolling over cracks and like all things like that, turning, carving, breaking, all those things will kind of come naturally if you just skate a bit more. I also started practicing doing some squatting on the board. So I'm more used to bending my legs because again, big up Ricky. So that's pretty useful. <laughs> yeah. As usual, let's see some more bend in the knees. <laughs> and also getting used Someone to finally a listen. Bit looser as I'm getting more stable on the board so I can turn more easily. Pretty handy. Okay, so I know I say this all the time, but I haven't been skating in like ages, so <laughs> I think I'm just not a very like regular person. That is the thing with skating, even as a pro and someone that's been skating for over 20 years, is that if I don't skate for one week, when I first step back on the board, it feels a little, like just a little bit weird. If I don't skate for one month, two months, it, you step on the board and you're like, whoa, this feels crazy. And then it will take you like a session or two to be like, all right, this, this is familiar. Now I understand what's going on. I don't really, like go skating very regularly but then sometimes i'll just have weeks where i'll just want to go out like every single night and it turns out this was one of those weeks so i ended up going out quite a bit and i actually think i got somewhere with it all right so what i've been working on basically is scooping the board which is really really useful if you want to learn how to pop shove it at first i was finding it a little bit yes. tricky to find the right amount of force to use and i kept losing control of the board okay but then i got the hang of it and i was very chuffed about it clearly Again, it's time for a happy dance. I would try to do a shove it, not a pop shove it. And they are a little bit different. But when your body weight is on the ground, it changes how the board is going to react with you. So you can be a bit more like nonchalant and just have your foot there. But if you're actually on the board, you want to have it really in this corner like pocket there so that when you push the board to the side, you get the maximum amount of leverage so you can push it around with the least amount of energy. And I just really feel how much force that I needed to put in and I'll yeah, okay, do it that's... again and again and again until I... I've never seen someone learn to shove it with their hands but that is a pretty good technique another tip that people sometimes say is put like a piece of paper on the ground and stand and then try to kick the paper out from under you on the, on the ground and then you can try to do that and try to jump at the same time and that's basically okay, like the right. movement for it, the back foot of a shove it I have actually yeah, found that's pretty that good. my control over my board like when I pop in the board is actually gotten better somehow which makes sense because i guess i'm more used to being on the board i can actually do manuals that are more than like five seconds uh, i think that's good really nice i've been practicing manuals like in the kitchen but just because like i have <laughs> nothing else to do 
and when I'm procrastinating doing work, I'll stand in the kitchen and just like talk to my friends whilst I'm just on, on my skateboard. And which brings me up to where I am now. Uh, I actually got a new that was record. Pretty good. So, <laughs> Honestly, that is good. Like, so I would try them rolling now. Yeah, I think you're ready. Look at that. We got to five seconds. Another thing that I'm going to do is practicing going off curbs because that's yes. kind of important if you want to like move one. around like on your board when you're just like not in a flat car park. If you were in the street, if I want to actually move around, I need to have the balls and just move off the curb, which isn't that hard, really. I mean, no skill involved. You just need to be a bit ballsy. So we're going to see that how it goes. That is somewhat right, true. Would, Little skill involved, but at all, but oh. nice first try, I guess. Honestly, this ground is not the best curb for you, but I think you could still do it. The trick to going off the curb is just to go quite fast, but it looks like there might be a crack there. It maybe looks like this curb is is better to try, but I think you'll do it right now. I can't do it. Okay, I've come specifically to this car park as well because I know that it has a curb that I can <laughs> That's maybe good. get over. Much better. So I'm gonna try going off well the done. curb now. <laughs> I think you definitely I don't know got why it. Why I thought that going to a different car park <laughs> would help, but um, still looking pretty silly and goofy. Okay, I keep like yeah, half going for it and then just not committing to it and then just falling off like the front of my board, which is so embarrassing that I just can't like commit to it and go for it. But I'm going to try it again because there's like a bit that's a little bit lower. So I'm thinking maybe if I just like work yeah, up to it. That is a so good As I said, strategy. I had the bright idea of working up to the big bit of the curb using the sloping bit. And it worked. <laughs> nice. I actually think I did it. It didn't look very cool, but like, I just, it, it doesn't even look that much different. Like, the height of the curb that I was going over is like basically the same, but I think I just like committed to it a bit more and like didn't put as much weight like on the front. I kind of like lifted it up a little bit, so I was putting most of my weight on my back foot. That kind of helped. And I think just going for it, honestly, but yay! If you want to do it a bit more consistently is what you want to do is like you're practicing the manual, you kind of want to be manualing right as you go off. So only the back wheels are going off and the front wheels are just staying in the air. Then the back wheels go off and then you land four wheels on the ground. If you wanted to roll down a two-stair, you'd have to do that technique because if you tried the technique you're doing right now on a two-stair, you wouldn't be able to roll <laughs> so away. So I'm going to get out of this harder. car park because it's actually not my favorite. But um, that was sick. I'm just not vibing with it. First I'm drop. I'm just not vibing with it. So I'm going to go to another car park. <laughs> All right, that brings me on to my next point, which is trying out new places. A really important part of my progress was exploring more and getting used to getting around on my board. So basically getting from A to B. People like to see your willingness to try and openness to try new things and I think that's what they Those relate last... to. This nice did mean that I had words. to deal with some shite paths. I'm also going to be working on my ollies so that just is a bit of a piss take. I just have to keep jumping around. I end up getting really fucking sweaty when I'm doing that because I'm actually putting in so much yeah, energy skating's hard work. Like trying to leave the ground, which is really funny. So in my last videos, my ollies were okay, but they were what people called rocket ollies. <laughs> I realized that apparently you need <laughs> I, to I, I, I never said that. Foot, foot. So I know what I need to do, but I don't know how to actually do it in person. My main goal was to use my front foot to push the nose down and even out the board whilst I was still in the air. And then on top of this, I also so I had to balance the goal of getting up as high as possible and for this I had to flex my knees and practice squatting low on the board and so I did this on repeat for hours and hours definitely a piss take the next day I found out that um, a lot of the practice was actually adding nice. up and I saw quite a bit of improvement which was really great good. and would you look at that see how even my board is in midair um, look at that height insane considering this is how I started but then look at me now. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and <laughs> Jimmy Neutron for this blessing. Of course, I had to do a little happy dance to celebrate. Um, Honestly, I that's really so good. Glad. If you keep doing the more and more, you get the timing more down. You get the way of transferring your power to get higher up in the air. So everyone obviously knows how to jump. So in theory, you'd think, well, I can jump. I should be able to ollie. But what's happening is you got to get good at transferring the energy to the board to bring it with you. But honestly, that was pretty high. If you just keep going with it, it will feel more be comfortable. Honest, I don't think Probably ready for rolling attempts this. now. But look at that one. It's pretty high and also perfectly horizontal. So I also tried doing it whilst I was moving once. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> Yeah, maybe in the next video. But hey, I'm that was doing good, a but yeah, it's a bit more scary. On ollies, if you guys are interested in that, like how I learned to ollie, I guess. I'm still not 100% there. Like, it still looks a bit funky when I'm doing it, but like, I can leave the ground on like all four wheels at the same time, which a sleigh, considering I started like really bad. <laughs> 
yeah if you look back at old footage you can definitely tell that i've improved which yay i should get the uh, resilience award i don't know if you guys remember having the resilience that's award, what everyone though. gets like in skating if you're really humble shit, the word and then like skating is very hard <laughs> and that's it. I'm gonna stop myself right there because actually one of the main takeaways from the video was that I should be less hard on myself. She's yes. pretty hard on herself. Like she was killing it. Sometimes the progress <laughs> is slow and again. that's okay. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and let me know what tricks you think I should try next because I know that I threw some pretty obscure ones in there. So that's such a like obscure thing. I've never seen a beginner try oh to do God. this before. <laughs> at the end of the day these videos aren't tutorials That's facts. um and they're not even meant to be inspirational but if anything they're realistic so be nicer to yourself um all right so i'll smell you in the next video all right hegla that was a great video i'm happy that i got you skating again i hope you keep skating if you do want to make more skating content maybe i can set you a challenge or i could give you like a zoom coach or something like that I think we should get in touch but i think it is really awesome for the beginners to watch your videos and see your perspective um, and your journey through skating and then to see my perspective too as someone that's been skating for a long time with a lot of experience so i think it's a cool relationship that we're building on here and i hope you keep shredding alex gate